Hi guys. So I'm on my way to the gym. I really don't want to go. I really don't. But I'm going. What did I do today? Oh, yesterday's video is still uploading. It's amazing. It's like, this is why I like to upload at night better because <laughs> even though it's still slow, it's not as slow because there's, I guess, less people awake at that time, but it's still slow. But yeah, so uh, it's been uploading for like four hours and it still has like two hours left. Maybe longer than four hours, I'm not really sure. Yeah, there was a lot of footage from yesterday to edit. <gasps> this is the worst time to go to the gym. There's just so much traffic. It just totally sucks. Hopefully the video will be done uploading when I get home. If not, that's a little crazy. So I might be doing something cool in the next few weeks. But I can't tell you guys about it yet. I've already told my Patreon community. I can tell them because it's not public. It's like a small group. If it works out, it's going to be pretty exciting. Because it's I've never done anything like it. And I don't know, it's like such a good fit for me. And what I like. So. Ooh, that's exciting. It's super exciting. Ready to make a left turn. <sighs> and this light is so short and people just don't pay attention. So when the light turns green, nobody turns. And then like as it turns yellow, like people start turning. And like two cars will get through. And that makes me crazy. This is like one of those lights that the moment it turns green, I'm beeping at you. You better be on it paying attention. Because even if I'm in the back of the line, I will beep. Because somebody's got to. Somebody does. I really am not in the mood to go to the gym, but I'm gonna go. And if you're thinking the same thing, that you're not in the mood, you should go anyway. I'm hoping I can get my hair to stretch as far as Wednesday. I could go to yoga. That's all I got for now. Bye. So, I ran a mile, but it was a million times harder than last week. And it's because my calves were tight and sore. And I was like, why are my calves tight and sore? Oh, it's become some genius decided to put on point shoes and, you know, just do a bunch of moves. There's a reason why it takes several, several years of ballet to get on point because your, your calves, your ankles, everything has to be very, very strong to pull yourself up onto your toes and stay there. My, my days of just randomly putting on point shoes and dancing around are probably over for a while until I like strengthen my muscles again. One of you guys was saying like that I should put on my point shoes and show you guys like a little routine or whatever if I still remember any, but the last time that I danced consistently on point, like I danced at a recital on point was like 12 years ago, something like that. So yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. You know, whenever I put on my point shoes randomly, I, I just do like some exercises and things like that. But I don't have the strength that I had back in the day, you know. I would love to, to take some ballet classes. And I did take a few last year, a year ago. But it's just hard to find adult ballet classes in Miami. And the ones that I've found are very far away. Like the closest one I found is about 30 to 45 minute drive because of traffic. And I looked at their schedule for this season and they only have one class a week that would not affect my, my work schedule. I was gonna try to take it tonight, but my calf is like, like I won't even get my money's worth. My calf is like not happy. I probably shouldn't have ran on it, but I just, I really wanted to get an exercise session in. I'd like to take that, start taking ballet again, because it's a full body workout. If anyone that thinks that ballet is not a full body workout, has never done it before. It's literally, it works every single muscle in your body. It's kind of like swimming, except swimming, I feel like is a really good cardio workout because if you're not used to like pushing your body through water and holding your breath and breathing properly, like it's gasping for air. But ballet is such a good workout. It's like yoga, pretty much. Just like obviously jumps and turns and things like that. I do miss point, I miss ballet so much. I used to do ballet five days a week for several hours a day. So I would go to school, then I would have cheerleading practice right after school. I would go home, eat something really quick, and then go to ballet for the rest of the evening, and then come home and do homework, or chat on AOL. <laughs> you young kids don't even know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, so I just put some Tiger Balm on my calf, and then I have to work on 
that secret project I was telling you guys about. Tomorrow's the big day, microblading. Do you see how this eyebrow gets overly excited? Like some people will comment like, are her eyebrows crooked in, in my videos? But like, if you look, they're like not crooked. It's just this one, when I get excited, it like gets really excited and it just like kind of stays there and then slowly comes right back down. So hopefully she could do something about that with the microblading and make it appear like they're more in sync. We shall see. So I went to my grandmother's house to eat and since I got back, I've been catching up on some emails that I need to need it to catch up on. Fed the dogs. I still have to finish up on that project. Finish up one part by tomorrow. And tomorrow morning I take my cousin to the doctor. And then microblading. And then after that I go to work. So I'm hoping that my eyebrows don't look so crazy. I know they're supposed to look really crazy because they come out really dark and then it fades like to something awesome. I hope it doesn't hurt. They've got like numbing cream but I just hope it doesn't hurt because I'm such a wuss. We're gonna go ahead and end today's vlog. Right, Hugo? Because you're tired, right? You're sleepy? What about you, Luna? Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? Say goodnight, Luna. Say goodnight, Luna. See you guys tomorrow.